بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمد ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد The first important point for the people of Iman is to have yaqeen in the Zat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that benefit is from Allah, harm is from Allah, sickness is from Allah, health is from Allah, life is from Allah, death all of these are in the hands of Allah when the time for me to depart from this dunya will come there will be no advancement or delay for one split second Aynama takunu yudrikkum al-mawt wa law kuntum fi buruj mushayyada Wherever you are on this earth you can try to run you can try to hide you can go to the highest and most fortified towers and castles and try to protect yourself kullu nafsin dha'iqatul maut each one of you will taste this death lawla akhartani ila ajalin qareeb when death comes even if a person says fasaddaqa wa akum min as-salihin give me one moment one chance one opportunity to go back into the dunya and change wala yu'akhkhira Allahu nafsan idha jaa'a ajaluha that when your time your stipulated moment is written then you will go all of these are excuses it's just excuses rabbi rji'un la'alli a'mal saliha Allah give me an opportunity give me a chance so we have this belief and this yaqeen that when my time to go from this world I will go whatever the excuse and shifa and cure and sickness is from Allah ma anzallahu min da illa anzallahu shifa Nabi Islam has explained for every sickness on earth Allah has caused a shifa tadawu ibad Allah fa inna Allah lam yasna da'an illa wad'a ma'u shifa that seek the means so Allah has kept shifa on earth now we need to seek the means one are the yaqini means which we've discussed previously and the ghayr yaqini means but Allah has put a shifa in everything inna Allah azza wa jal anzal adda wa addawa Allah has descended has put on this earth sickness and cure wa ja'ala li kulli da'in dawa and Allah has made a cure a remedy for every sickness so seek that remedy but very be very vigilant wala tadaw bi haram don't ever seek a remedy in haram fa idha asaba dawa adda and when your medication conforms to the sickness then a person will be cured bi idhnillah with the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so firstly we have to have yaqeen that shifa is from Allah, kya is from Allah, all things are from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And to the level of yaqeen which a person has, only each person can tell their own level. So rate a person, each person themselves can decide based on their yaqeen. We had one friend by the name of Atiq, he looks normal average person. But he used to arm wrestle people. So there used to be people who used to be professional bodybuilders. And they should look at him and laugh and say that you're going to lose. But most of the time, nobody ever won him. So he knows his history, he knows his background, he knows what effort he made in the past. Externally, it doesn't look like that. So each person can gauge and decide what yaqeen I have based on that which asbab of akhirat and which asbab of dunya do I need to apply on. When Jordan there was one sati, even when he was on the roadside waiting for a taxi, he felt it against the wakul to lift his hand and call the taxi. So he would just wait and make tawajju and turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and make dua that Allah send me the correct taxi driver, the correct taxi with the correct amount that I should be paying to take me to my destination safely. He never lifted his hand, he never made a sign and it would happen that the taxis would come and stop in front of him. So based on each person's yaqeen and tawakkul, can they utilize these avenues which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us. And likewise death, tuhfatul mu'min al-mawt, that death is a gift for a believer. So as people of Iman, we need to be looking forward to dying. 
if I'm not ambitious and desirous to die and to meet Allah and I'm not ready to die. When uh, Sheikh al is from South Africa, he was ill once and I met him and he said, I was ready to die. Everything with regards to the Hukuk Allah and Hukuk al Ibad was prepared. I was waiting to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wal mawtu rahatul mu'min. And death is a means of rahat, of peace, of comfort for a believer. Yuhibbu al insan al hayat wal maut khayru li nafsihi. Insan generally likes to love, but death is better for him. So we have to look forward to dying. We have to know that the time of death has been stipulated. And if Allah brings any excuse, then that's an excuse. Whatever the excuse behind it, whatever the planning, whatever the plotting, I had to go, that was my time. Fortunate are people who go with accolades. One of the accolades are a ta'un shahada to kulli muslim. A plague is a means of shahada for a believer. Aisha Riyadh said, Sa'altu anin ta'un, I asked the Nabi of Allah about a plague. فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ جَعْلَهُ رَحْمَةً لِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ Allah has made us a believer. It's fortunate for a believer who dies in this plague. لَيْسَ مِنْ أَحَدٍ يَقَوْ الطَّعُونَ فَيَمْكُثُ فِي بَلَدِهِ صَابِرًا مُحْتَسِبًا That no person goes through a ta'un, through a difficulty in their city and they stay there. صَابِرًا with patience. So in sabru in the sadamati al-ula, sabr is at the first opportunity. Sabr is at the first opportunity when we get the chance to make sabr be patient, don't complain, and know that the sickness is from Allah, muhtasiban. And I have hopeful that every difficulty and hardship that I am going through will not go unrewarded. يَعْلَمُ أَنَّهُ لَا يُصِيبُ إِلَّا مَا كَتَبَ اللَّهُ لَهُ that he has yaqeen, that thus that has happened to me and transpired has been destined by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Illa kan lahu mithla ajri shaheedin. But he will get the reward of a shaheed. So a believer is fortunate. But wa may yatasabbar yusabbiruhu Allah. That whoever has a desire to be patient and their heart is connected to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then Allah will give them tawfiq to go through that difficulty and hardship. وَمَا أُوْفِيَ أَحَدٌ أَطَاءً خَيْرًا وَأَوْسَعَ مِنَ السَّبْرِ And nobody has been given a better gift, more vast, more beneficial than the sabr. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, sent wahi to Isa alayhi salam and he said, Ya Isa, إِنَّي بَعِثٌ مِنْ بَعْدِكَ after you, I am going to send an ummat in a sabahum, ma yuhibbuna hamidullah. When good conditions come, they praise Allah. Wa in a sabahum, ma yakrahuna ihtasibu wa sabaru. And when difficulties, hardships, plague, sicknesses, anxiety overcomes them, they have reward that Allah has sent us for a purpose. And they are patient, they are composed. And they enjoy that hardship. Wala hilma, wala ilma. But this ummah does not have any forbearance. They don't have any tolerance. They don't have a lot of knowledge of Anbiya alayhi salam. Those hilm and ilm which were granted to Anbiya, this ummah may not have it. So Isa alayhi salam asked, Ya Rabbi, kayfa yakunu hada lahum? Wala hilma, wala ilma. How is it possible that they will enjoy all of this here? But apparently they don't have what Anbiya alayhi salatu was salam have. Qala u'tihim min hilmi wa ilmi. I will give them from my hilm, my patience and my forbearance and my tolerance and from my knowledge. I will send ilham and I will guide them to do what is best. May you did Allah be khayran yusib minhu. Whoever Allah intends good for, Allah inflicts them with difficulties. So remember these difficulties and hardships for a believer is never at loss. 
that a person is inflicted with difficulty and hardship and when he is done ma alayhi khati'a allah subhanahu wa ta'ala deletes he raises all his sons and is like a newborn child idha ahabb allah abdan aw arada an yusafir if allah loves somebody and allah wants to cleanse him and purify him sab alayhi albala sabban allah subhanahu wa ta'ala floods him with difficulties hardships calamities sicknesses wa thajjahu alayhi thajja fa idha da'a al-abd after he goes through all these difficulties and why he is in this hardship he says ya rabba his heart does not go to the doctor his heart does not go to the medicine his heart does not go to any of the makhluk his attention is to allah and even while he is following the instructions he negates the medicine he's swallowing the medication but he's negating it ya allah benefit is from you harm is from you qala allah labbaik ya abdi la tas'alni shay'an illa ataituka whatever you ask for i will grant it to you imma an uajjilahu laka Either I'll give it to you swiftly, or because it is not appropriate for you now, wa imma an adakhirahu laka, or I will save it for a later stage for you in akhirat. To such an extent that those people in akhirat yawdu ahlu alafia yom al qiyama. Those people who were blessed with peace and serenity in dunya, they were they never seen. any turmoil or trials or tribulations in the dunya dunya they were exempted from all hardships in yu'ta ahlu al-bala' al-thawab when they will see what reward allah has kept for those people who went through difficulties and hardships and turmoil and turbulence in this dunya لو ان جلودهم كانت قرضت في الدنيا بالمقارير they will wish that while we alive in dunya we would not have gone through all the peace and serenity and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would have inflicted us with difficulties and hardships to such an extent that our skins would be cut up would be shredded our bodies would be ripped into pieces in the dunya and we would go through those difficulties rather that would have been better for us after seeing the reward that allah grants those people who go through difficulties so it is about being having yakin our attention going to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knowing that death will come to us ibn kathir has mentioned in his tafsir in alama tabri as well that there was a lady in the past and she had a worker and this lady gave birth to a daughter and she told instructed the worker that go out and prepare a fire fa kharaja fa wajada bil bab rajulan so as he went out he found somebody and the person asked him ma waladat hadhihi al mar'a what did she give birth he said a female a daughter then he told this person that this girl will not die until she commits adultery with a hundred people and her worker will marry her and a death will be through a spider so this worker told himself in his heart that how can i ever marry somebody who's committed adultery a hundred times I am trying to I am going to avoid my destiny. Fa akhadha he took a knife fa dakhala fa shaqqa batn as-sabi and he stabbed this baby. 
Then he fled and he went to live another life and he started a new life. Fabariat, Allah made it such that she got cured. He thought so she was dead. She grew up and her occupation was she was an unchaste female and she would sell her services. It so happened one day that this person, wherever he went, he became wealthy, he started his own thing and he came to one place which was in the ocean front. فَأَقَامَتْ عَلَيْهِ تَبْغِي وَلَبِثَ الرَّجُلُ مَا شَاءُ اللَّهِ ثُمَّ قَدِمَ ذَلِكَ السَّائِلِ And he came to that place with his wealth. فَقَالَ لِإِمْرَةٍ مِّنْ أَهْلِ السَّائِلِ So he met a lady there and he said, Look for me, أَجْمَلْ إِمْرَةٍ Amongst the most beautiful women in this locality, I want to marry her. So he said, ha, She said, هَا هُنَا إِمْرَةٍ مِّنْ أَجْمَلِ النَّاسِ Amongst the most beautiful women. But she is unchaste. So he said, if she's endowed with beauty, then offer her. So she went to that lady. He said, Kad qadima rajun lahu malun kathir. There's a wealthy millionaire. He's ready to throw whatever money you want at him. So that lady said that now, as of today, I have abandoned my occupation. But if he wants, I can marry him. Tazawaj tuhu. So that lady went to him, he accepted, he said, yes, okay, I'll marry her, but I need to see her. When he seen her, he was amazed and perplexed by her beauty. So he accepted to marry her. And they got married. And one day they were discussing matters. And he said that, this is the story of my life. There was a child, I killed a child and I fled. So she told him, Ana tilkal jariya. I'm that same child that you tried to assassinate. She opened her stomach and she showed him the wound. And I was anxious, I was immodest. I don't know, but possibly a hundred men have been gone through. And he said that the last part is that you will die with a spider bite. فَبَنَا لَهَا بُرْجًا Then he built a massive fortified fort so that she would be protected. And one day she was in the fort and they seen a spider on the roof. And she said, هَذَا يَقْتُلُنِي Is it possible that the small insignificant spider will kill me? She said, I myself will kill the spider. لا يقتله أحد غيري. So she went to kill the spider and she knocked it and it fell on the ground and she smashed the spider with her foot. But it so happened that the poison entered her foot. It became infected from a touch and she passed away. What Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has destined for us will come the people of Iman capitalize on these opportunities and they turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they realize that this is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we need to utilize this properly. Ibn Nafis who has authored around 110 medical books was asked about pandemics and how it should be dealt he said, fearful delusions are half of illness. Fearful delusions are half of illness. I know one person personally who heard the story when he got the news of the corona. Two days later, he passed away. He had no symptoms. The worry killed him. Then he said, Ibn Nafis, remain in calm is half of medicine. So remain calm, know it's from Allah and your matter to Allah. And he said, having confidence in Allah is the first step to cure. Having confidence in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the first step to cure. So the first thing that we need when we are plagued with any difficulties or hardships is to have the yaqeen in the zat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The amal for today is Nabi alayhi salam. After making wudu, you should say, Ashhadu an la ilaha illa Allah wahdahu la sharika lah, wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluh, 
whoever is as dua after wudu illa futihat lahu abwaabul jannati thamaniya all eight doors of jannah will open for him yadkhulu min ayyuha min ayya sha when he has a door he wants to enter he should enter may allah give us tawfiq of making amal wa akhir da'wana an alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin